Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. And today I have the USB chargeable uh, cordless airbrush compressor. Uh, cordless is not necessarily the right description. It's more along the lines of it being uh, USB charged. It's a different technology than your traditional kind of airbrush uh, airbrush compressor. Um, and I, I personally was looking for something that makes a little bit less noise because when I'm going to paint, uh, late in the evening and everybody's asleep, um, my current airbrush, my traditional airbrush compressor, um, just wakes up the entire neighborhood. Like it just, it's older. Uh, so it's, it's starting to show some wear and tear and as as it gets older it starts to make a lot more noise um and nowadays uh, you see a lot of these cordless airbrush compressors that use a different technology and you can charge them with a usb cable um so and th they're a lot more silent so that was kind of like the goal is to find a solution for the noise because I am not able to, um, you know, put my traditional airbrush compressor um, in another room where it, 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 you won't hear it as much. I won't be able to put it outside or anything like that. It's just not practical uh, with, with uh, having a, a really long hose. Uh, just not very practical, let's just put it that way. So I went on the hunt for a cordless airbrush compressor and um, I went for the cheapest option that I could find just to try out the technology try out if it's really kind of living up to its name um, it won't be a hundred percent silent but it will be a lot more silent than your traditional airbrush compressor um, if this would ever like satisfy my needs as to like uh, air pressure and stuff like that I am willing to give it a shot and uh, look at another brand and get a more you know a more high quality one but right now I just wanted to go for a cheaper option to see if if it's something that I uh, I want to invest some money and some time in um, so Amazon sent me this box and originally I was under the impression that I was getting an air compressor, uh, a hose to connect my airbrush to, uh, and a USB charging cable. But to my surprise, it turned out to be an entire um, airbrush kit that came with a very cheap, but an airbrush nonetheless. Um, so the box comes with like a manual a cleaning kit, uh, an airbrush, a very cheap airbrush, uh, because this kit was 55 bucks shipped, uh, 55 euros uh, through Amazon. Uh, so I'm not expecting a lot from this airbrush, but it is an airbrush. And if it just performs the basic function uh, adequately, uh, I am already happy enough like it never hurts to have like a tool uh, in your arsenal uh, that would like perform like a basic like base coat or priming um, if it's adequate enough for those type of jobs it never hurts to have it laying around uh, I'm not expecting that an airbrush like this of this quality will will ever be able good enough to kind of, uh, you know, uh, work for a really fine detail. Uh, it is really cheap. It feels cheap. It weighs almost nothing. Um, I think the, the cup makes a squeaking sound if you <laughs> screw it off. Uh, I, I don't think this is even metal. Uh, it feels like uh, a plastic. Um, so this is super, super cheap. Um, the f 
focus on the damn thing. Uh, the nozzle cap uh, doesn't even screw on. It's just put it on like that. Uh, it does, and this is kind of funny because in the previous video, I was talking about wanting an airbrush um, that has specific requi requirements. Uh, for example, the air control, uh, the needle control, and the, uh, the trigger control, I all wanted to have that as features and have those easily accessible. Uh, and it's kind of funny that the airbrush that Amazon sent me has the exact same features that I was looking for in a, in, in a high-end airbrush. Uh, so that was kind of a surprise, but I'm not expecting a great deal from this airbrush, but you know, never know. You never, never know. Uh, the trigger does feel kind of smooth. Uh, I can definitely see that this feels very, very nicely in my hand. Um, again, this, the air control, uh, bit will provide me with extra stability. So who knows? Um, I'm definitely going to try it out. I'm going to put it up against my high end airbrush and a couple of the other airbrushes that I have and see how it performs. And even if it's just performing basic kind of tasks like priming, like base coating, um, I, I will be very, very happy. So let's put that aside and go over the other parts. This is the USB, USB cable. It does come with a light up feature uh, that will show you when the air, uh, the air compressor is fully charged. So when it's charging, it should light up red and if it is fully charged it should light up green so that is kind of cool uh, that means that if you keep an eye on it you won't overcharge your battery uh, you always have to kind of take into consideration that these are cheap kind of uh, compressors it's cheap technology and cheaper technology tends to burn out when you put it uh, um, you, you know when you connect it to uh, to any kind of power uh, for too long it might tend to kind of uh, burn out uh, get too hot and burn out and break your parts so the feature that it comes with and uh, the, the fact that it lights up uh, green when it's fully charged you know then you know okay I could take it out safely uh, and I won't burn out my uh, my air compressor um, this is the air compressor as you can see a very small uh, very, um, you know, very, very nice uh, size. Uh, although I have to say, I'm not expecting um, the greatest performance, but like I said, same for the airbrush. Uh, if it performs like the basic tasks uh, adequately, I will be happy enough. Um, so, you know, this was like a try and see if the technology is kind of an option for me um and if if i'm satisfied with kind of like how these kind of perform i might look at a more expensive option there are a couple of other options out there um uh, that have a, a much higher um battery lifespan or lifetime uh so you can you can airbrush a lot longer without having to uh, to charge it. There's also uh, one other version of this, I guess, that comes with an extra battery pack so that you can uh, change out the, the battery that you have uh, drained uh, and, and put in uh, the charged one. And then, you know, you never have to kind of worry about running out of battery uh, that way. So that's kind of an option for the future uh, if this uh, performs the way I, I, I think it will. So. Let's just, you know, pray that it, it does what I think it will do. Uh, it comes with a pipette. Uh, these are throwaway things, I guess. You could kind of clean them, but um, they, they're 
you know, after a couple of uses, they kind of, you know, are expendable, I guess. Uh, you know, it's just another tool in the arsenal. Uh, and it comes with these two extra uh, airbrush cups, which is kind of nice. You never know when you kind of need them. Um, I will probably not be using those, but it's kind of nice to have them laying around if, if ever. Uh, this is, I think, the adapter that goes onto the compressor um, like that. And then you have a, this the adapter for the hose. So uh, it comes with a wrench. I have no idea what the wrench is for. Uh, I do not think that this is for the airbrush. I don't think it's for the airbrush. Um, it's not for the compressor. So I wonder what this is for. Does the manual say anything about that? It does not. It's not really a manual. It's more like a, a piece of paper with parts on it. Uh, whatever. Might run into a situation where it becomes apparent what that, that what that is for. And then we have the final piece. We have the air hose. Um, this is not a quick release air hose. So I did buy a, an adapter on Amazon, uh, so that I can screw on a little bit of, a, uh, um, so that I can screw on an adapter with a quick release. So making, it will make this a quick release, um, air hose. Uh, it goes on right here, I think. So um, a quick release is kind of like a, um, a requirement these days. Um, so I will have an adapter ready for this. Uh, the adapter will arrive tomorrow. Uh, that will also be like a good, a kind of a good moment for me to try out all of these airbrushes and try out the compressor. Um, I will, so, Stay tuned for like a follow-up video on that. I will do like thorough testing on my high-end airbrush, on a couple of other airbrushes they have. And I will, of course, kind of try out the performance of this airbrush as well. I'm very kind of curious on how it will perform. Uh, I have a couple of other cheaper airbrushes, but this was, this was super cheap. If you consider that this entire entire kit cost me about 55 euros uh, I'm not expecting a whole lot um, you know airbrush performance the more you pay for your airbrush the, the higher the performance uh, most of the time uh, if there's no defect in the, in the airbrush itself so the general rule of thumb is that the the, the, the more expensive uh, an airbrush the better it performs the the more high higher quality uh, parts it will have um, so I'm, I'm not holding my breath but you never know so for now let's wait for the quick release adapter to arrive tomorrow and I will do a follow-up video uh, on its performance but so far uh, general thoughts on this compressor is that I'm very surprised it came with a full ready-to-go kit um, I'm very surprised at the size of it uh, on the photos that I've seen uh, on its advertisement basically it looked a bit larger um, and this is kind of like the, the sound that you're working with um, I guess if you put it down, it makes a little bit more noise because of the desk. Uh, so if you put it on some insulation foam or, 
you know even this might uh the the sound is very um it's not very loud uh you can still you know talk over it i'm not raising my voice in any sort of way uh so uh i'm surprised um i do think that when you connect your kind of air rush on it um there we go the uh So that's a very, very um, acceptable kind of noise level. So I'm, I'm fairly surprised, but let's save it for tomorrow. Uh, I will do a, a thorough testing of the airbrushes, uh, their performance, as well as the uh, compressor performance. And we'll see where that leads us. Um, maybe this will surprise me um you know some people swear by them uh it just lowers the the noise level significantly uh make it a lot more more of a, a valid option to use when you're painting late at night when the family is all sleeping uh all things to consider definitely when you're using a traditional kind of airbrush compressor uh like mine uh, as it gets older, it starts to produce more noise. It wakes up the entire neighborhood because it starts out with 40 decibels. And then, you know, as it gets older, the, the noise level grows. And right now it's just making a ton of noise. And I don't know why, but it, it's probably showing some mileage, you know. Um, so, you know, that's why I'm looking for a more silent option and before I start spending 400 bucks on like one of those traditional ones that are fully insulated and stuff like that those exist uh, those are super silent but they cost like 400 bucks and I'm not prepared to do that uh, you know. so you know um, for now let's go for the cheaper option and um, We'll see how it performs tomorrow. Stay tuned for a follow-up video tomorrow. Uh, maybe I'll upload it on Saturday. Depends on how much time I have editing. Uh, stuff like that. You know how it goes. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. And I'll see you guys next time.